Welcome back, everybody. How's it going? It's me, Narrator. And today we're going to be reacting to, you guessed it, military TikToks. All right, we got some good ones. We got some, you know, kind of funny ones. What the heck was that? Yeah, Lindsay's not home. Hello? Oh, I'm going I'm to be right back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be right back. Hold on. Hello? Hello? What the hell? Hello? A few moments later. Anyway, sorry about that. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be reacting to YouTube shorts with military stuff. There's going to be funny uh, content. It's going to be you know, just pretty much the same as always. Um, but yeah, no, let's get let's get started. We got some we got some good stuff today. You know what I mean? So let me pull these up for you and let's just let's just dive right into it. You know what I mean? All right. And has that door always been open. It's getting all right. This is actually starting to get really. Weird. You son of a bitch! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up? How did you get into my house? Yeah, it's here. You can't know that. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Well, shit. You want to record some military shorts? YouTube shorts? Yeah, I got time to kill one. Uh, all right. Yeah, but pull up a chair. Pull up a chair. Shit. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage. Uh, one of my very, very good friends, the one who taught me how to be a shitbag in the army, Casey. What's up? It's been a while. I can't believe you're back. Well, after about 17 days of crawling through open field to finally get here, yeah. But you're here now, which is fantastic. Oh, yeah. You're just... You took you took that off with so much force, just ha. Huh. All right, you re you ready for the just to watch some funny military shit? Always. All right, I think we'll do something a little bit different this time as well. If one of these military YouTube shorts resonate with you in like a personal way or like reminds you of a story, just just tell it. Oh, if they're doing something stupid, it resonates with me already. <laughs> it pretty much sums up our entire military career. And don't it. <laughs> 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 all right you ready let's yeah let's, let's do this it. all right let's get into it private's first deployment i'm scared bro i was born for this shit man i've, I've been training i'm ready why would i be scared huh there's just a bunch of like homeless dudes with sheets <laughs> yeah i don't know who the fuck told you that shit but they really be killing people out here like they got sheets yeah but they got tanks and guns and the that's them over there, bro. Fuck boy, American, I'm gonna find and kill you. I'm gonna shoot you. Yeah. <laughs> On a real level, you, you're, you're not ready for what they actually have. <laughs> they, they got some shit. They got some they shit. They got some shit, dude. My first deployment. Yep. The first op we went on. I'm the two truck driver, so I'm the lead lead driver i'm going yep. everywhere we got a and a in front of us the afghan army yep. our side you and your one Iguana. truck in the front one truck in the back of the a and a we're scooting down this route yep route cobra it's been years so i can talk about this legally <laughs> there's nothing down the route it's an empty road going in the middle of the desert everyone's asking why are we going down it oh because it's one of the most heavily mined and ied infested roads we got to know why it's infested satellite imaging shows mm. nothing in the desert why are we going that way to see what's that way okay we Why have not? satellites. <laughs> so, well, I roll over an IED. Didn't see it. Well, yeah, because then it would be an ICD. You didn't, you didn't really see it, did you? No, but I found it. <laughs> <laughs> and so did the engine of my truck that got launched 250 feet in the air. That's pretty cool, though. Oh, yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> A compression back massage, and I got to see the beautiful sky real quick. It's pretty awesome. Poor Nico, man. I, I love this dude. Battle with the branches. Ah! You got Sometimes I wish these dudes would just hit me, you know? Yeah. Not like in the head, but like in the leg. Or 
maybe they had it. I don't know. You guys see? You yeah. see, I'm important too now. I'm calling you cats. I'm important. Shut the fuck up, man, Mark. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's what's up. He is the exact representation of every branch's problem child. I swear to God. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, get hit by a car and die, but... Profile sounding pretty good right now. Profile sounds pretty good. If I could just have somebody, like, accidentally hit my leg and twist it a little bit. Just yeah. give me a profile. Nothing give me crutches. permanent. Nothing permanent. Just, you know, a week of light PT would be I, great. I, I don't have to sue anybody. I wouldn't have to do anything. You can't sue anybody. Exactly. <laughs> but just, just to have a little me time. You know, a little, little me It'd time. It'd be nice to kick back and rest a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. We got my last drill weekend at this unit. I'm gonna miss everybody. No the f you know. ain't. Laura, why'd you join the army? I needed papers. <laughs> needed papers. <laughs> yup. Did you need papers too? I need, I need a paper. <laughs> Did you need papers? I'm going to go on the Home Depot. <laughs> uh, why'd you join the army? Fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. Believe us. Why'd you join the army? Cause I have no life. <laughs> Black, why'd you join the army? Cause I'm stupid. <laughs> Felix, yeah, why did yeah. you join the army? What's that? Why'd you join the army? Uh, uh bonus? <laughs> why'd you join the army? <laughs> why'd you join yeah. the army? Cause I had a lot of kids. Sergeant, why'd you join the army? The recruiter, he came to Home Depot. He said, I have a job for you. I said, what's that job? He said, drive a truck. <laughs> That actually threw me for a loop when I found that out is technically they own uh, people who are foreign to America. If you, they join only for a year, they get citizenship. Yep. Which blew my mind. You read for your mind to get blown again? Yeah, go for it. That's every military from any country. Really? If you join an outside country's military, you're granted membership. That's the first year. That's, that's pretty legit. That's so those cool. of you who don't want kids, just risk your life. Well, now... Yes, but at the same Risk time... Risk your life, don't make a life. There you go. We're looking at you, privates of 42CR barracks in Vilsec, Germany, coming home with German baby mamas. Don't add to the populace. Don't subtract from the populace. Don't get thrown in jail. If you do, establish dominance quickly. You're going to no. be there a minute. You're going to be there probably for the weekend. If the military was honest... We're going to name a unit 10th Mountain. What'd you do with the other nine mountains? We're going to have them run the Mountain Warfare School. All right, that makes sense. 10th Mountain, Mountain Warfare School. Mm -hmm. We're going to put the unit where there's no mountains. Where there's no mountains? What? How are you going to have 10th Mountain with the Mountain Warfare School not around mountains? Yup. We're going to put it right in the middle of a city in New York. <laughs> no, there needs to be mountains. It's going to be so cold there that people from Alaska come to train, cold weather training. <laughs> That's not relevant. I don't even That's know why thing. you're bringing that up. What'd you do with the other nine mountains? And why are there no mountains around 10th Mountain? <laughs> climb to glory. What are you climbing? There's nothing to climb. Skyscrapers. To the top. The top of what? To the top of what? <laughs> the division building? The stairs? What? That's the common sense displayed in <laughs> the yep. army. It's really bad. Don't think too in depth on anything. The only things you need to know is right place, right time, right uniform. If you are early, you are on time. If you're on time, you're late. And if you're late, you are... <laughs> <laughs> don't show up if you're late. Go AWOL. <laughs> don't go AWOL. Go to the, go somewhere where you could have had an appointment. <clears throat> and if that doesn't work, go into the wood line near your barracks and pretend to fall and just knock yourself out. Yep. Make it a medical emergency. Just slide in here. Oh, come on. Get in there. Get in there. Yes, 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 yes. Ah! All right. <laughs> We're not in the barracks room anymore. You can't be doing that. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Everyone can be a little homosexual. It's fine. I'm married. Hard facts. I have a pass. <laughs> I was there first. Unexpected military humor. Okay. First of all, get your hands out of your pockets there. Cool guy. That is the weirdest looking M4A1 I have ever seen. Also, so she has that. She has a big fling for it a backpack and then is that a shotgun or is that a stick that's a stick that's a stick she's definitely military police imagine having to run around with that loadout though mm. 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 
Mm, thoughts of a Marine. I could really kill someone if I wanted to. Hey, yo. But what we I? won't. We won't. Hey. Okay. Hey, we won't. Yeah. Okay. All right. But we could. <laughs> That's the relationship. That that is literally the relationship. That's what it is. It's like mad dog on a leash tied to another mad dog with common sense. That's the only difference. That's the only reason. You either go. That's the only way they get rained. You're either both tugging and like you have a common sense and you have your your demons and you're like, eh, no one's gonna move. You're you're in a good you're in a good space. It's a stalemate. It's a stalemate. Or you are like, I'll be really responsible. Or you let the thoughts win. And oh, then it gets bad. The Recruiting with the branches. It's not that bad, man. I promise. Just go ahead and sign the paper. It's about to be like, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> Don't say anything, but we do not do shit. I don't do shit. I did so much not shit, I talked to a fucking potato now. I'm crazy. But we get paid as much as Air Force, so you should come. See if you like. I'm sorry, what? Yep, they get paid as much as Air Force. Their food's probably out of this world. <laughs> Air Force food is amazing. I can only imagine Space Force is even better. Dude, honestly though, have you seen their uniforms? They're like crisp. They're brand new. Yeah, yeah. They talked potatoes, but their uniforms are crisp. They're like starch free. Starch free. They probably don't have any of that bug stuff either. I missed it. It went over my head. Yeah, it did. It went right over your head, didn't it? Yes, it did. Like a cool breeze. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my God, you're gonna love it. And we're all friends here, okay? Um, are you yeah. okay with being wet? Oh, perfect then. Uh, okay. And then how quick can you get wet? A little bit of an issue here. So I don't see that you have a master's in anything. You weren't valedictorian of your class. So mm -hmm. what the fuck are you doing here? You think we take bums off the street? Dude, dude, stop. Listen, okay? We're way better than the fucking Marines. Hardest motherfuckers on the planet. Us. What? Please join us. Please, please, please join us. Okay, I'll give you all the hugs you want. No one joining us anymore. We got nothing. No bonus says no nothing. Sorry. You like the water, hey. right? Please? Please? Please. I beg of you. <laughs> Jump out a perfectly good helicopter 100 feet into water, which is like landing on concrete. Yep. You thought you got bad knees from jumping in and out of trucks in the army. No. Or jumping out of a perfectly good aircraft with a parachute. You don't get parachute. You might get yo-yoed down if you're lucky. yo is pretty cool. Yeah. I yo-yoed out of helicopters. Yeah. I was I was usually yo-yoing in and out of therapy. I yo-yoed in and out of AA. Respect. Is it true that the Navy's gay? Yes, but there's no one gayer than the Marines. No. The Marines are part of the Navy as much as they don't want to be. Yep. Hear me out, though. Navy's a lot gayer than the Marines. 30,000 people leave on a ship. 15,000 couples come back. Yep. Nothing but semen. Everywhere. Everywhere. All on the poop deck. I'm not sorry. Neither am I. <laughs> <laughs> the craziest story that you have in the military. It was rifle qualification at boot camp. And okay. a Marine had to use a port of john and ran oh. out of toilet paper. He had to use an orange peel to wipe his behind. That's what he used. And there was one other situation where, let's just say a Marine wanked his willy and got an infection. And it ended up becoming the size of a soda can. If you're from 2167 Hotel Company, you know just who that is. There's been a lot of intimate time in Porta John's on deployment from mm. several people. Yep. Even I was not one because I could not withstand the heat of a Porta John. Hey, bro. <laughs> Me and Poland. Poland wasn't that bad. Poland wasn't bad. Afghanistan was bad. <laughs> I can't do 156 degrees in a Porta John. No, no, no. Oh my God. Dude, the the record breaking summer though in Germany. It was gunnery, wasn't it? Yeah, it was gunnery. Yeah. Yeah, I lit that shit up. <laughs> All right, how troops be when the flight chief comes to post? Flight chief is coming! Yup. So this is when Sergeant Major would pull up to a range? Mm-hmm. Yup. Got the Oakleys on. Yep. For some reason has loaded oh, ammo outside geez. the range. Yep. Check. Check. Hide it, hide it, hide it. Get 
the chair. Hide it. No cards here. First of all, where's your helmet? Second of all, why didn't you salute? Third of all. Yeah. Yup. Remember when we did Gate Guard and Sergeant Major rolled up to us during gunnery? And I was like, oh, good morning, afternoon, Sergeant Major. So many people are here. Uh. And he's like, okay. He wasn't briefed on what we were briefed on, and we were briefed to brief him when yep. he rolled up. What? What the f? All right, what's this? Okay. <laughs> if that would have happened more times though leadership getting getting reamed for the same thing all other soldiers are getting reamed for because they're the ones that caused it health and the military don't go, go together. together people in the military must be just so healthy like the the just pinnacle of human health one of the guys in my platoon went on a 10 mile run this morning still drunk from the night before Yup. What? Jones. How do you do that? Well, before the run, he smokes a pack of Marlboros. And Jones! Kind of bang, and then he just sends it. That man. <laughs> he was a tank of a human being. <laughs> he was a in marvel among human engineering. All right, we only got a couple more. You ready? Yep. Boot camp for Marine Corps recruits is known for being the toughest among all branches of the U.S. military. But what makes it so challenging is not what you think. The physical training is difficult, but if you're even remotely fit, you can overcome that challenge. Losing your identity can take a toll on you. On day one of boot camp, all male recruits get a big cut. Now everyone is dressed yeah. the same, okay. looks the same, and you are a nobody. As for the female no recruits, they have to follow certain hair guidelines. There's yep. Also lots what was that? Of hold up, what was that? You saw that shit too? That knot set up? Hold up, hold up. Look at that. That's a halfway point. Yep. But it's the most difficult. Yep. There's also lots of yelling, which naturally creates a lot of stress. Oh, f shark, shark attack. attack. Uh, that shit was crazy. First time going into basic. Real Sergeant walks in, looks at us like, why the f are you still on my goddamn bus, Pat? Get the, Get the off my bus. I, I had uh, one called Drill Sergeant Song. He was a like five foot two small Asian guy. He got on the bus like a lightning bolt and jumped on top of the seats because he, he was so short, he didn't hit the roof. And he was, <laughs> he was shaking people's bags like, get the f off my bus and just like throwing shit. And I was like, oh, f I guess we started. Let's face it. Most people have not experienced these types of interactions. And it's something that they'll have to get used to. Do you hear that, millennials? Yeah. Difficult aspect, especially for the what newer generations that? who are tied to the phone, shamer. is the Do they have hair nets on the back of their YouTube head? and Facebook, but from their family and loved ones who are normally there to support them. Look for that. most recruits, Look this that. is the first time ever that they are cut off from the outside world <laughs> for three months. But, but tonight, at least they may learn how to write a letter. Check out our long video yep. if you want to learn more. They learn how to write a letter. How? sad does that sound? Because you don't get your phone. Nope. It's old school communication. Oh, did you hear what the new basic training does now? Yeah, they let them have the phones. Yep. Not only that, they have a cool thing called a stress card. It's a stress card. Oh! Is that like a safe space? Oh, let me tell you about this shit. They now have a stress card where if they get too overly stimulated, like either too much yelling or whatever, they hold up the card and that lets the instructors know that they're like either having a panic attack or and whatever they can't emotionally process the situation yeah it's almost like why are you there why are you there if you can't handle someone yelling at you that's not going to hurt you how are you going to handle someone yelling at you that's trying to kill you exactly all right last one you ready yep hey good morning kanye shut the fuck up come on kanye <laughs> don't be a morning even if you're in a good mood you feel good you're happy don't be a morning person i learned that you're the, the hard only way. you're the only one in the unit that's a morning person. You are an anomaly. You are the needle in the haystack. I tried to be the morning person one time and then immediately backfired. And then every, after like the first like month of doing PT nonstop, I'm like, I'm gonna freak out. But that was uh, only a few stories from the past.
And there's a lot more. Oh, yeah. There's a lot more. My favorite one was when Sergeant Riley was yelling at you because you couldn't see the target, couldn't hit the target. Yeah. <laughs> Lightning bolt. That's the thought. This is after they found out that he liked D&D. &D. Yep. No fireball or something. I don't give a shit. Hit the target. Go out there and hit with a stick. He, did, he told me to get off the truck, full on blizzard, by the way, and to pick up a rock and throw it at the target that I couldn't see because I Minus couldn't 10. hit it with the gun because it was thermals and it was blizzarding at nighttime i had ran this course so many f times because i was the only mark 19 gunner and they had yep. to have a mark 19 and a 50 cal gunner yep. on both sides so i was the only one qualified with a mark 19 i ran it so many times i'd memorize where everything they were. popped up and i would just tell him to shoot where he's seen the flashes because you sh shoot yeah. flashbangs yeah we shoot flashbangs then you also had the mark 19 so you would uh it was awesome because they told us we couldn't get off the range until I qualled. And on the thermal, I'd just be sitting there waiting with the RWS system, and I would see, and I'd see a flash. He's like, you see that? And I'm like, Zzz. and he would hit the target. Hit, and you, he, he would just launch where the target was. And once I saw the flash, I would just adjust and shoot the target down. When we did every it, time. we we got like yeah, everyone you, after that. Yeah, you qualled expert on that one. Which actually. is weird. <laughs> In the worst conditions. <laughs> I wouldn't do it again. But no, great times, good times, great stories. I miss the people. I, I miss them. Yeah, exactly. And speaking of liking things, tell me below in the comments down below what your favorite either story or military YouTube short was. And if you want to hear more stories to his embarrassing past, that I have all the keys to every door Shut up. and every question. Shut up. I caused some. Th you were the fire. You were the one that started it. <laughs> I was just a dumb little private, and I said, Ooh, pretty fire. I remember when I first seen you. <laughs> I walked into the mudroom, which our whole platoon yeah. was in, and yeah. they're all fuzzies. I walked in. He was being goofy, goofing with everybody. Yep. I'm a specialist. I just walk in, stop, look around. I go, you. Me? He's like, uh. He's like, Come here. Uh, okay. Can, 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 I, can I help you? Come here. You're mine now. What? You're mine now. Come here. Uh, okay. You, you like get coffee? You you like nerd shit? Yeah. You're coming with me. Four years of shamtastic shenanigans until you left me, and then I had to sham by myself. I gave you the keys to the kingdom. It was your job to unlock the door for others. I did. I did. <sighs> Great times. Bye, yeah, everybody. Anyway, bye. <laughs>